to. He's going to be sharing experience with FY. This actually really sucks. You'd love to be able to quick get a quick level two on that uh, that CM, but now you have the stacks up. Fenrir taking a lot of damage. Orb of Venom, and just showing the value of this is, well, Bobica may be in a little bit of trouble here. He has to be careful. They end up trying to switch away and get out of there, but still going to be ran down. FY in the area as well, and the right click finishes him off. First blood drawn by Troll Warlord. Does not just have to see how much more they can get done in this aggro tri lane. Ricky can obviously be that surprise factor who's going to rotate back and forth between harassing OP in the mid lane uh, and trying to find a kill bottom as we end up missing. He got skewered. Oh my god. Oh, I'm the worst. ROTK god. He makes it happen. And this is why I was just saying I needed to keep an eye on it up there more often because. You know, PA obviously can jump. Well, actually, only level 3 right now. No points up in Phantom Strike yet. Saving up into that. I think then level 4 is what we're going to have to be waiting for, although OP can still keep the harassment up, and, well, Freeze still a little ways away from level 4. They're trying to deal out some more damage. Their bottom lane pressured in. On to aggressive, dealing the damage. Can they find this kill? And, well, they've got that up. Now going to be able to find that kill onto aggressive. Jinju Mastery, very much a problem at these Freeze plays. Uh, he put himself together a really good game as aggressive is going to get ran down. Uh, and right clicks coming through. This should be a kill. Another one going their direction. Nicely played. So uh, the big thing that we saw from Freeze was he played quite well at Star Ladder, I felt like. Uh, trying to get away from this is in a little bit of trouble. The rotation comes in, able to get it out with the Boundless Strike. Trying to turn now onto FY in trouble. He's going to fall. Now Freeze forced to Phantom Strike away. is still taking a lot of damage from there. And, well, as to is my frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> which is going through some issues. Hopefully there's not too much more loss that goes on. And they take down ROTK as well. Actually, I think that aggressive TPing in there might have been the, what caused him to die. And you can see this. Bobica setting up for a... I'm not sure exactly what, but he's trying to tree dance his way all the way into their base almost. FY is scouting him the whole way through. And yeah, they take down the tree and now going to try and see if they can take down Bobica as well. Not quite in range as of yet. Skewer forward. Right click's coming through. Boundless strike to turn. Throwing out the dagger. He is going to end up dropping here. So good scouting out there by Freeze. Able to find it. Fenrir dueled up in the top lane. Aggressive gone upon as well. XSS is going to be all over him. Do they have another? No, then no more nukes left. Future like events as well, particularly DAC coming up. You think about the key of major as well with the most recent change and the like decreased as they go on to FY, Boundless Strike, trying to find that kill, are gonna be able to get it. They drop every damn thing onto him. But now Freeze going forward, realizing there's nothing to stop him from just chasing down Bobica, trying to hide out with the rest of the trees, but it wasn't gonna be enough. Can't OP finish him off. They do have the Light Strike Array, finding him on the high ground. So getting these levels up in these so your fade time can be reduced and all that other good stuff. Um, a ward drop down, Fenrir, they pump fake it, looking for him, trying to find it, they get the stun, light strike array to boot, and, well, the RP connects onto OP, but is it going to be enough? It looks like it will at least to kill him off, Bobica not really able to stick around too much longer, and it looks like with that they're going to have to call off the charge, maybe having to think about getting him out of there, ah, oh, press the attack comes a bit too late, and Fenrir finds the kill onto the support Monkey King, so no dual damage gained. They find one kill on the Warlock, but he's already back up. It's spot out burning right here. Uh, I'm not sure how they actually see that. That might be a bug. Uh, must have been these creeps that actually spotted him. But in the area, yep. Here we go. I, I thought that it was the uh, Dyer that spotted him, but I actually had the vision on the Radiant. So into the late game, I would imagine. And CM, who's not getting terrible farm in this game, um, I, I, I think that they need to be at least a little bit worried. Um, jump in, top lane, trying to find the kill on Aggressive. Is still running out of there, and uh, it looks like he might end up going down. Whirling Axis trying to get out of there. No, Jews, Gil, Nuke, it's not there. Oh, they found it. Nicely done. <laughs> that was a conniption. So between the two of them, they more items early because you can just stay on the map more often. Uh, but it also is something where you're quite afraid of just getting taken down early. Like you get some HP from it, but in a lot of ways with like, oh, our, what? Oh, ROTK. Oh, he pressed the wrong button. Okay, yeah, that hurts. They're still moving in like they want to fight this. 
Is this like the ultimate bait where you try and go in for a fight because the enemy team thinks you don't have RP? Is he think he has RP? What's going on? Why is he going in with this? I okay ways to solve that, but that still could be tough. And now a big problem. They're gonna jump in. ROTK, can they find him? They actually instead decide to jump over here onto aggressive, get the duel off, and well, they're still gonna be able to catch him back into here. Omni Slash now onto XSS. He's gonna start to fall. They get the boundless strike and the ulti from Q. It might be enough. ROTK getting ran down. He's gonna die to burning, but it looks like FY will be able to make his escape freeze trying to find this. They drop the rock, canceling out the jump forward by burning, and now with this finally online. It looks like Bobaka might end up paying the price. Can he get away? Tree Dance? Yeah, it's not going to be there. He's just dead. They find that kill. Nicely played. It looked like he was trying to finish off something, maybe. He was just going to get some creeps after the fact. But yeah, a pretty big win there from VCJ. And I think the big find him with the Legion. But it's just a scary time to be a Alina uh, right now, I think. FY onto Q. They just take him down. Q gets away on 21 HP. And now they're going to jump forward, get a duel onto Fenrir. OP might be able to find this one as well. So winner there. OP coming in the clutch. Let it never be said that I doubted the man. He gets two more Bloodstone charges. They are going to be taking Roche while this is happening. But the tier 2 tower for Roche feels like a pretty good change. Not to mention that they also won that team fight very handedly. So, nicely done. They're going to be able to take down this tier 2 tower. I mean, he got Ricky with the Midas, but is that really going to save the day? OP might be killing off ROTK again, so they find that kill as well. A nicely played one, and they're able to take down the Ricky. I mean, we're seeing it one frame at a time, but, you know, it's, it's still looking pretty good even from here. Um, and now you've also got Burning going in for the Shadow Blade. Is going to be building next into... A Silver Edge as well. Take that as tribute. Um, and Bobaka gets a, a kill onto Aggressive as well. Sorry I missed that one. But yeah, that was... Like, you can see right now they want to get involved. And they have to, really, in a lot of ways. FY is going to be there to break the smoke. Burning, he's revealed. Can they get the kill? They jump forward. RP solo onto Burning. Will it be enough, though? They drop the rock as well. A ton of damage out to ROTK, and they're able to take down one. Aegis already gone. Aggressive is going to fall to XSS. And with that, so too will the Phantom Assassin most likely. will be able to kill off Q, but Freeze will fall in return. So the RP... Again, you, you realize that there's a chance that the Jug is solo there and it ends up working out into your favor, but you can't fault him too much for that decision to go in like that. They didn't have vision over in that area. But it doesn't even work. Nonetheless, we'll keep it up. We'll persevere. Aggressive, on the other hand, might not so much. He is going to probably die. It does look like they're also going to get the dual damage on XSS. So 42 for him at this stage. They're setting up on burning mid. So Again, Ricky, he's building back into a Diffusal Blade. We'll be able to kill off Q solo at a certain point in this game. Oh, God. Yeah, that hurts. <clears throat> that hurts. That's not what you want to see. Where is... As soon as I saw those changes, like 50 damage, ain't nothing to scoff at. Oh, looking for the catch now. ROTK, he just uh, eliminated. And 45 seconds, they can probably force a buyback here. Okay. <laughs> Apparently nothing is happening. ROTK, he's still here, but they're not giving him an option. There's the jump forward, skewer back. RP as well. Is it going to be enough? They drop the rock and, well, ROTK, they're doing a good bit of damage. They're able to take down OP immediately back. Now the Omni Slash down as well. Bobaka's starting to drop low. Wukong Command not able to keep him alive long enough. Now Freeze out of his BKB. They turn to fight, trying to take him down. That's going to be enough for the kill in just a second. I believe, no, almost out of there. They turn fight, duel. That's going to be maybe enough. Oh my god, are they actually going to be able to win the duel? Freeze takes the duel. Where's your MKB, mister? Triple kill for Freeze and maybe going to be able to find more off the back of this. Aggressive shows up. Gonna take down OP. Oh my god. Have VGJ done it? What? Oh, and Q also gonna die an ultra kill for Freeze. Alright, there were more than a few crits in there, I'm sure. We didn't see a damn one of them, but 4,700 gold into their favor with 2,700 of it going to the Warlock. Yeah, he got more than enough for a Midas now.
But Gigi is still going to be called. They took the barracks. They're done. We're done. Vici J are down one game to nothing in spite of that comeback. It looked pretty, but it was never, never nearly going to be enough. So really impressive display so far. Uh, Invictus Gaming making the plays. And this is